Good defensive work from Keyes has earned herself a second set point. that she'd actually let this one go. There's the forehand. She has good position there. It's one of those ones that just drops in. <laughs> it's okay. Great positive reinforcement from the box. Don't worry about it. Yeah, he liked the approach, didn't he? Not the end result, but... to bring the heat, Madison Keys. Great swing arc, isn't it? She has on the forehead. Wide swing arc. Impressive. Finishes in style. Yeah, Lily Smertens couldn't take her chances when they came her way. And Madison Keys punishes her for it. 6 3, the American is set to the good here. She's going to build in confidence, isn't she, Madison Keys? I just saw the clench of the fist after she won that set on her third set point. See Elise Merton's leaving the court for a shirt change. That rule has changed this year for the ladies, as we see in the first set summary. Pretty impressive first set percentage from both ladies, particularly Keys. Has served four aces, winners, a handful more for Keys. Double the amount of unforced errors. But the reality is that Madison Keys is still trying to find her way back after. Uh, well, having quite a bit of time off the end of last year, she had a bad knee, so you know she wasn't able to play any lead-up tournaments to the Australian Open, and that's always can be a little bit of a problem because you know depending on who you play in the first couple of rounds of a major, you know you like to work your way in, but if you don't have much confidence or many resources to work on because you haven't played, it can be a bit of an uncertain time. But Madison Keys, she has such a big game. Not only off the forehand and the backhand, but off the serve as well. So once she gets a few matches under her belt, you know, that confidence is just going to grow as each round progresses.